Hello! Here at EcoSapien, we love to receive feedback, and we were delighted to find a rather interesting message in the YouTube comment section underneath our video, Should You Hate Magpies? Now, this video examined if magpies were responsible for a decline in the UK songbird population. Short answer, no, but with a few caveats where they have local effects. The comments were made by someone who shall remain anonymous, and let's examine their points. Point number one, the video was complete and utter garbage. Well, that's a bit harsh. Uh, we put a lot of work in, and you know how hard it is to find a day in Leeds that's both sunny and quiet for outside filming. Not easy at all. Point number two, most of the studies quoted in our video have long been discredited. Well, that was news to us, and we commend the commentator for pointing it out. But which studies exactly have been discredited? Our video featured two main studies. Thompson et al, published in 1998, which concluded that predators, including magpies, were not responsible for the decline of songbirds. And Newson et al, published in 2010, who found that there were no significant negative associations between the number of magpies and their prey species. But if these studies have been discredited, maybe everything we said was wrong. Now well, that would be embarrassing. We thought we'd better do a little bit of checking following the tip-off. And our first course of action was to search Google Scholar for the phrase, decline of UK songbirds. The top result of this search, good old Thompson et al from 1998. Newson et al from 2010 was the most recent paper featured in our video. So we sent Google Scholar to look for papers on the decline of UK songbirds published between 2011 and 2016. The top paper from the search, the paper that would, the commentator hinted, discredit all studies in our video, was published by Ockenden in 2012. Its title, Declines in British Breeding Populations of Afro-Paleartic Migrants are linked to bioclimatic wintering zone in Africa, possibly via constraints on arrival time advancement. Catchy title, but it doesn't really scream, I've discredited all the magpie research, and the word magpie is mysteriously absent from the title and the abstract. The investigation had hit a dead end, so we tried a standard Google search and went straight for the jugular, googling the phrase, magpies cause songbird decline. The top result? An RSPB article saying that magpies aren't responsible for the decline of songbirds. Hmm, suspicious. The second result? A British Trust for Ornithology press release carefully explaining the results of Newson et al. from 2010, that paper quoted in our video. So far, no sign of discrediting. But then we had a brainwave of terrifying implications. If this paper by Newson et al. had been discredited, surely the BTO wouldn't mention that on their website. The fiends. This was a level of cunning we had never before faced. So, we came up with an amazing strategy that the BTO wouldn't see coming in a million years. We asked them about their research. After as many as one days had passed, we finally had a statement about the Newson et al. 2010 paper. This study has not been discredited scientifically, and is still regarded as the most robust and impartial scientific study carried out to date on the impact of avian predators on national songbird populations in England. Well, there we go. It seems that despite an overwhelming lack of evidence that the studies quoted in our video have been discredited, we are reluctantly forced to reach the conclusion that the studies quoted in our video have not been discredited. And let's be clear, because if you followed this video to the bitter end, you certainly deserve some clarity. Magpies are not responsible for the overall decline of the UK songbird population, but they do have some effects in certain circumstances, and you can enjoy reading about that if you look at our reference list. Things in nature are rarely black and white especially magpies, which have bits of green and purple on them. But magpies are, on the whole, mostly black and white. That concludes our rather extensive investigation. Thanks for watching.